To broadcast a solo live stream using BeLive.tv, simply log into your account and click Start Broadcasting. Now click the solo mode to broadcast by yourself. In this window, you'll choose where you want to go live. Now type what you'd like to say on your broadcast. If you want to go live in the future, click on this box here and select the date and time you'd like to go live in the future. You can also add an image to the scheduled broadcast post. If you would like an email with the link to your live video on Facebook and with a link to your BeLive broadcast, type your email in here. You can also skip this step. Check this box if you'd like a copy of this alert sent to your messenger. You can also uncheck it. If you'd like to add custom branding, you can do that here. Now click Create Broadcast. You'll see this welcome screen with instructions on how to get started. You can read through that or just click Start to keep moving. Now it's time to connect your camera and microphone. Click the wheel here. Now choose the resolution. We suggest you start with a lower resolution to improve the quality of your video. Now select your camera if you don't already see yourself on screen. Hi everybody. Now you'll select your microphone. Notice the window on the right hand side of the screen. As I connect my microphone properly, I'll start to see sound waves. That means everything's connected perfectly. I can connect my speaker and then click save changes. Click connect camera. Whoa. Here I am. Okay, now that you're ready to stream, I want to draw your attention to a few key features. First, the large window here is only what you're going to see. The viewers will see what's up in this box on the right. You'll also notice the agenda box. With the agenda, you can add lower thirds that appear during your live stream. You can turn them on or off. Simply click on the agenda button and add your lower third. Click on the show button to show your lower third, and it appears right on screen. Click the hide button to hide it. You can also click the agenda button again to close the box. You can also write lower thirds using the on-screen updates you see here. Click show, but remember, with on-screen updates, as soon as you hide the lower third, you won't be able to show it again without writing it. Right below, you'll be able to measure your live viewers, your real-time reactions, and your comments. Any comments made on Facebook will appear right here where it says live comments. You'll even be able to show those comments on screen. Simply click show to show the comments on screen and click hide to remove them. When you're ready to begin your broadcast, simply click the blue Start Broadcast button to open up a second dialog box. There it is. Click the second blue button for a five-second countdown, and then you'll be live on Facebook. You did it! You're live on Facebook. Notice the red live tag right up here to indicate that you're live on Facebook. As your audience begins to join, you'll notice that the live viewer count down here begins to populate. As they leave comments, you'll notice their comments appear in the comment area. Okay guys, gotta go. When you're ready to wrap up your Facebook live stream, simply click on the red stop broadcast button to open up a second dialog box. There it is. Simply click the red button again and you'll be off the air. You did it. You've successfully completed your broadcast. Now simply close your window and you'll have completed your live stream. Or you can click on the menu on the left hand side here and you'll be led to a menu of all of your past live streams with BeLive.TV. This page will include a link to the Facebook live stream here and also a link to return to the broadcast studio. While you won't be able to go live again, you will be able to access all of your past comments.